Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to continue the uh, flashing calculations we discussed last time and uh, it's going to be pretty easy to do this in Excel so we saw how we do this uh, uh, like the equations and everything and it would be in the same sheet uh, uh, where I did the bubble point and new point and I'll let you know in just a few minutes why so actually um, yeah, we said we know we need to know the bubble point and dew point, so we know where is the wet region, and uh, this is the region where we uh, will do our flashing calculations. Uh, actually, this is what we found last time for this system of benzene, toluene, and xylene at 0.5 um, atmosphere. Uh, we found that the bubble point is 72, almost 72, and the dew point is 88. So I I can do the separation any uh, temperature between 88 and 72. That's why we did uh, this calculations on the same sheet just to know uh, that we uh, are doing this right. So um, let's say we'll do this at 80 Celsius, which is uh, 353 Kelvin, and we'll do this at 0.5 atmosphere. Uh, because this is the pressure at which we calculated the bubble and dew point. If you need to do the uh, uh, flashing at different pressure, then you need to um, do this uh, bubble and dew point uh, calculations one more time. And um, here we have the compositions and um, all the stuff we have here. And here are the equations that we are going to use in our uh, uh, calculations. So we have everything handy. Um, so what we're going to do now is to calculate x for each one of these uh, components and then calculate sigma s, uh, x and then y and calculate sigma y and we said everything depends on this L over V that's uh, there every in, in, in all the equations. Um, so uh, we, we need to assume a value of L over V first so we'll assume let's say 1. Um, and then let's go for the vapor pressure. So we said it's exponential of A minus B over C plus T and T in Kelvin, of course. And then freeze this to um, uh, drag it easily. And then K would be vapor pressure divided by the total pressure in millimeter mercury. And then freeze this as well. And then the x would be um, calculated from this relation. So it's going to be uh, L over V plus 1 divided by um, L over V plus K, which is this. Uh, and this is oops, multiplied by x feet. Um, and because we're going to uh, uh, drag this and we need L over V to be constant, so we'll do the freezing for the L over V. So um, we are done with this and then y you can calculate y from this uh, long equation or just uh, multiply x by k. So we have this x and then multiply this by k and we are good to go. And then we will see uh, how the sum would be. So you do the summation of all these three guys and this here. So it's kind of close because it's almost 0.97 and 1.0 something but it has to be 1 um, but this means that your assumption or our, our assumption is, is closed so what we are gonna do now is um, and this is one good thing about uh, the uh, uh, solve or I mean the goal seek in uh, uh, in the flashing calculations so the good thing here is that um, the solution would be right if Sigma X and Sigma Y are right uh, all right and if you re if reach the right solution then uh, if you like do the goal seek for one of them, then the other automatically would be right, and this is kind of indication that your solution is uh, is true. So we will go ahead and do this for sigma x, and then we will put this to the value of one by changing the L over v. It's L over v this time; it's not temperature. And then you press OK, and it's getting much closer now. It's almost one, and then 1.00, which is almost one. Um, and then you see the L over v is 0.65, almost 652. Um, and you see here, this is one, and the other, one, the other, uh, the sigma y just came to be one directly. Um, so it's it's that simple. You just put everything, and then um, you can do the uh, iterations uh, pretty simple. You can use solver, of course, um, instead of gold seek, but both both are gonna do the same thing. Um, and then to calculate the flow rates of the feed and the, I mean the, the vapor and the liquid, you can assume like 100 moles of feed and then calculate the vapor from this relation, it's feed divided by the value of L over V that you just uh, got from the uh, trial and error 
and last one so you have the v and then the l equals f uh, feed minus the vapors then you have everything here um, calculated so it's it's that simple uh, you just need to put everything in place and then you can calculate all the um, uh, unknowns that you have in your equation um, I just before I finish the video I want to show the three uh, uh, cases that we discussed last time that you may have some problems with the iterations and because of uh, either the assumption is not right or the conditions are not right so um, let's go ahead and do this uh, first thing to assume a very big value of the uh, uh, elevator let's say it's I'll, I'll just exa exaggerate but uh, this is uh, just in, for the sake of uh, 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 indicating that this this might happen so I'll, I assume the value of 100 which is not realistic at all and then I'll do the goal seek and I uh, need to set this cell to 1 by changing the L value which is exactly what we did last time but just this is 100 instead of 1 and then if you press ok then um, you'll find this going to 411 uh, which is too much and y is uh, 1.3 and actually if you increase this to a very very big number you'll find this is exactly 1 and this is nothing and you will see that the liquid is 100 almost the same um, flow rate of the feed and the vapor is nothing so this tells you that there is something wrong you are not doing the right calculation and sigma is not is not true um, so this is because kind of conversion or diversion from the, the right solution because of the initial guess that you didn't do right um, and we can do the same like if you assume 0 0.001 uh, or just 0 0.01 and then you could see that this is almost one now you don't um, you don't need even to do anything but let's say I do gold seek and set this to one by changing this L over V and then the same thing you'll find this 0.003 and then the vapor is almost the same flow rate of the feed and the liquid is nothing um, so if you do this one again and then do the gold seek and any one of them to the value of one by changing the L over V you will go back to the same uh, result that we got last time so it's it's pretty simple actually um, the last thing that uh, we uh, uh, discussed last time that you might have might have this problem of not getting the, the, the uh, uh, problem solved um, because of the conditions are not right so we said that it's uh, the temperature should be somewhere between 72 and 88 so let's go for 90 or 92 any temperature like this and uh, try to solve our system with this I'll still start with the same initial guess and the temperature is 92 now so we know that now that it's out of the uh, range of the uh, uh, wet region um, so we'll do goal seek and then put this to 1 by changing the L over V and uh, it did but still sigma y is not 1 um, and the L over V is, is a very big number so let's go back and then um, try doing the gold seek on y instead of on sigma y instead of sigma x so I'll do this same thing here and the same problem appears you have sigma x and sigma y not both of them are one and the v is too, a very big number and liquid is a very small number so it's it's uh, in this case if you cannot get it to be uh, solved by changing all the uh, like the initial guess or the uh, uh, doing gold seek on sigma y instead of sigma x then you need to double check your conditions just make sure that the, the temperature is the right temperature and um, then you do gold seek again this one by changing L over V and it's good it's it's good now um, so this uh, this is important to uh, um, double check all your conditions and all the equations um, uh, if you have any problem like this um, so this is uh, all for today and uh, we'll start distillation next time inshallah. So I'll see you then.